Today we're making garlic bubble bread in the toaster oven. You're gonna start off by mixing your milk and yeast mixture with your flour. The full recipe will be in the description, so go ahead and check it out. You're going to knead the dough roughly until all of the flour is no longer visible like this. It's going to be pretty sticky, but refrain from adding any more flour. Continue to mix this and then cover it and let it rest for about an hour until it doubles in size. I like to keep mine in a warm area, definitely not in front of the window. You can keep it inside of the oven with the light on or just in a dark area. As your dough is resting, you're gonna go ahead and cut up your garlic. I like to just mince mine up pretty finely and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil. Or you can add in basil and make it like presto bread. You can definitely add anything here and make it your own. And this is how my dough looks once it has doubled in size. It's pretty sticky as you can see. You're gonna go ahead and pour out the dough onto a surface that has been roughly floured. Go ahead and flour your hands and just work with the dough here. We're gonna go ahead and knead out little balls and place it onto a parchment paper. This process definitely takes a lot of patience, so Put on a movie, put on a soundtrack, and just enjoy the moment. It took me quite a while to get all the dough onto the parchment paper, but honestly, it was really worth it. I'm not too sure why my dough is this sticky. If you know why, leave me a comment. It's probably because I didn't knead it that well in the very beginning. But regardless, it came out so delicious. Regardless of how it looks now, all shriveled up like this. We're gonna go ahead and brush it with some of the garlic mixture that we had made previously. And we're gonna bake this in the toaster oven. I baked mine for about 12 to 15 minutes at 345 degrees Fahrenheit. Every toaster is kind of different, so definitely keep an eye out on it. Once the dough has become golden brown on top, you can go ahead and remove it from the oven, let it cool down, and enjoy. Enjoy. 